welcome to my channel my name is Samantha Rizundu if you are new here and today we're doing uh, some new makeup a little chi chat a little bit of new a little bit from a shop mustache because I don't have like a full face I actually haven't been buying that much makeup lately um, since I think my last new makeup video I bought a few things so it's been a while which is good don't need to buy all the time but I did buy one parcel from P Louise I bought the new Cheek of It blushes. I don't think they're that new, but they were out of stock for a while and I've been following. I asked Glam Raider, are you getting them? They were like, oh, we can't get them. There's not enough stock. As soon as I saw them back in stock, I bought directly from P. Louise. I actually got a really good deal. I had to spend $20 in shipping, but I got the three for 25 pounds, I think, instead of it being 45 pounds. Um, it was like a special deal when you bought three. So it ended up being pretty affordable, the blushes. I bought an eyeshadow palette, um, which I will show you. But then I also got, um, I got a whole PR package from Alter Ego. So Alter Ego, I always thought was just America, but they shipped to Australia, which is awesome if you are Australian. So they sent me the Midsummer palette, which is the dupe for the ABH, is it the Novo palette? So. Basically what Alter Ego do, if you haven't heard of them, is they sent this to me in PR. I don't have to, this is not sponsored or anything. But if you don't know the brand, they dupe a lot of really popular eyeshadow palettes. So I thought I was just getting this one, but they also sent me eyeshadow base. Um, I just want to also say I filmed half of this already and realized I wasn't recording. So we're doing this again. So I have actually started using this already. <laughs> I already did a whole look and I could tell you I loved it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just double, triple checking that I have it recording. But I'll show you the other palette. So I have used this already, the Alter Ego Eye Primer. I got some lashes. I'm not a huge lashes person, so I'm gonna put these in my giveaway that I'm building up. And then I also got two more palettes that I was not expecting. This is Shadow Kiss, which is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Glam palette, which I have always wanted to own. And now I don't need to buy it because I have this one, which is so exciting. This color story is me, me, me. Very exciting. And um, they're a fraction of the price. So I will leave, leave them linked down below. Um, well, I'll definitely have this palette linked because I'm going to be using the Midsummer. And then I got the Coastal, which is a dupe for the Huda Beauty uh, Mercury Retrograde. I believe this is a Mercury Retrograde, isn't it? No, it's not. It's the uh, Rose Quartz. Luckily, I checked that. So this is the Rose Quartz palette. I thought I was like, the other one, the Mercury Retrograde has like the green blue in it. Um, yeah, so we got that one as well. And I am actually kind of glad that I don't already own the originals because I don't like having like the same products twice. I remember I had the Natasha Denona Metropolis, which is my favorite palette. I bought the W7 dupe of it and my God, it did not compare. I ended up decluttering it. But these are known to be very good quality. Um, and a wonderful comparison, comparative product to the original. So we're gonna start with this. I've already done my brows. Well, just, I haven't um, set them down, but I will set them down once I have my face on. So this is the Alter Ego Eyeshadow Base. And it's just translucent and it's leaving like a silky film um, between the eyeshadow and my oils. And it's gonna help if you have um, like fine lines as well because it's kind of leaving a nice silky smooth base. Let's go in with, will I do the exact same look I did before? I used um, this little quad here and this one here. So I did like a green look to match my green dress. Oh, it is drying down, that's great. This feels like a good eyeshadow base. I think I'll do that same Tuscan transition shade here. This is really nice. So what I was saying before is there is a little bit of kickback in the pan, but once you tap it off, it did not come off on my face at all. It was totally fine. They're super blendable. Um, I think it has a really nice amount of pigment. Like it's not so much that you're blending for days, but it's also enough, you know? It's quite nice. And I can really feel that shadow base drying down which is wonderful because that's going to give something for the eyeshadow to grip onto which i love i think i'm going to really like this eyeshadow base 
made my eyeshadow look good before 10 minutes ago so i am going just food shopping after this so i don't want to do anything crazy um because like i i'm happy i don't mind by wearing a full face of makeup to the shops i just don't want like a big full smoky eye and bold lip you know <laughs> gonna get a smaller brush and i'm gonna go in with meadow which is this shade here this matte green a wonderful match to my dress actually so and i really like how this layered over so i do need to blend that out a bit lay it over each other and the shimmers are really nice too which you will see i think i will do a different shimmer to what i did before because the shimmer that i picked was this one here it looks like a nice neutral with, with like a little bit of a greeny base but it actually came out quite gold um which is pretty but I think I'll use the more greener one. I feel like this is performing similar to the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills, what do you call it, formula? You know how like um, Natasha Denona has a real, they have their like creamy matte formula and they have like more intensity, whereas ABH had a little bit more, when I say drier, I don't mean it in a bad way, but it was a drier formula, more of an old school original formula. And Natasha Denona is more of a modern formula. I feel like this is like ABH and it's just that traditional type of powder formula. And then I'm going to take pollen here and I'm going to put that in the outer part of the eye. This brush is too fluffy for what I'm trying to do. That is pretty. I'm going to change the brush. I think it was too fluffy. So if you're like me and you haven't bought any of these palettes, like the originals, just because they're all like a hundred plus dollars, I think Alter Ego is a wonderful option. They did give me a discount code. I will leave that all down in the description. And if you do make a purchase, I just letting you know I do make a commission. So just full transparency there. But this is really nice. This is really going out well with my outfit. I like an everyday smoky eye. I think that's just my favorite. That's my preference. And then with my small brush, I'm gonna go in with Dew, which is this light kind of mossy green. It's so pretty, but it's light enough to do in my inner corner. I think this is my favorite shade. It is so pretty. It is just elevating this whole look. Oh, so pretty, love it love 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 okay we'll come back to you okay i've already opened it but it was brand new i bought the new mco beauty miracle hyaluronic tinted serum this is a dupe oh they're a bit dupey aren't we <laughs> i love a dupe um for the l'oreal tinted serum now when i had it on before i was using this as my primer the maybelline i'm not going to do it this time it was too dewy and i couldn't tell what this was like now this isn't a review. I was thinking of doing more like a short video to compare the L'Oreal and this one. But today I just want to see what it's like on my skin, but I feel like that was too dewy and I feel like it set off the foundation and I really want to know what this looks like without that dewiness interfering because the reason I love the L'Oreal is because it just is one with the skin. It kind of dries down, not matte, but it doesn't stay dewy and see if this, oh, I hate these droppers, just droppers in general. Why? Like, I don't want to be doing this. Okay. Okay. It's definitely not as dewy as it was before. So that's good, but it still has a bit of a dewiness to it and it's got a nice light coverage. Perfect for every day, or if you're just a light coverage gal. Mix my makeup to my mood. Sometimes I just want to be full glam. I want to be full coverage. And then other days I just want a tinted moisturizer and a little bit of blush and cream bronzer and I'm out the door. You just, just don't know what mood you're in, you know? I think this is still a lot dewier than the L'Oreal. I don't know if the formula is exactly the same. They've done the shades the same. Like I got 0 0.5 to 2 very light, which is the same shade name as the L'Oreal. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, 
concealer. We are concealing with the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Light. I haven't used this since I bought it. I put it in my uh, everyday makeup drawer. So I'm gonna get some good use out of this bad boy. You watch. And this is like a good one for this foundation because it's like, uh, like a medium coverage, dewy, hydrating. We love. I'm gonna use that with the sponge. This is the Duono and Co sponge. So I'm just looking at myself in the mirror. And I really like this concealer when I tried it, but it wasn't like, oh my God, this is my new Holy Grail. I think that's just purely because I do like a little bit more coverage. And I think that's why in terms of dewy concealers, the Colossus is my favorite because it's just got that coverage while still making your under eye look nice and healthy. Whereas this makes my under eye look really nice and healthy. But do I see a big difference in coverage? Not so much. But if that's what you're looking for, then it is a really nice concealer. If you want something that's more medium coverage, I think this is a really nice option. It's very hydrating, very dewy, and I'm really sorry, but I am gonna pat it down and just get rid of all this dew. It's a little too dewy for me. We're gonna do, 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 do a little bit of contour, just a little bit because my bronzer is the Charlotte Tilbury and it's just so light that I need a little bit of, a little bit of depth. You know, you know that guy on TikTok that it, um, imitates people who work. <laughs> so we're going to do, 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 do um, the presentation. Mm, do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know him? He cracks me up. He's Aussie and he's just like every office workplace annoying person that just thinks they know it all. Oh. I was not put in an office. I just can't stand that office environment. As per previous email, I need that by end of day, Friday, no later. Kindest regard. I mean, every workplace has their annoyance. For me, the, the office environment, like you work with lovely people. That's not what I'm talking about, but you know, like the email, language you know what i'm talking about if you've ever worked in an office everything's very passive aggressive okay beautiful oh don't forget the nose contour you know i've left the house forgetting that i had contour under here and here <sighs> so embarrassing got a big shiner i don't know what's going on but my chin has been like really red textured and itchy what is that <laughs> what is that um i've Put uh, the Kit Wonder Balm on it last night. That seemed to calm it down a little bit, but it hasn't healed it. I'll do it again tonight. I might actually put the um, uh, La Roche-Posay Seeker Balm. I got the new Seeker Balm. So I might even put that on it. I think that would help just to like protect it, calm it. I don't know what's going on. This weather is messing me up. It's messing me up. All right, bit of powder. Oh, I bought two powders. I forgot that I had a powder. We'll do the new one, the Huda Beauty. We'll do Huda, we love her. Cherry Blossom Cake. This is the Easy Bake Loose Baking Setting Powder. I've only used this once. So I'm going to powder a little bit, not too much. We're gonna put some bronzer on and then we're gonna go in with the P. Louise because um, this is too dewy for me. And I need to know that these work with powder. I'm hoping they do. I have already used them. I just did a quick TikTok before this. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, that's what I need. I just need a little powder down. I don't need a lot. I just don't want to look like it highlights this area that I don't want to highlight. I love powder and what it does for me. Because I will look like this at the end of the day, like the dewiness. So this just kind of helps me along the way, you know. I am gonna do bronzer. So we've got the Charlotte Tilbury. I put this in my um, Shop My Stash Everyday Makeup drawer because it's winter time here in Australia. And I need to use this because I don't like the light. I love the formula. It's the most perfect formula, but I wanna get the medium. So I need to finish this and I'm not gonna buy the medium until I use this one. So it does show up on my skin. That's not the problem. It's just not enough for me. 
I am a bronzer ho. Yeah, that's nice. It's actually not as light as I thought. It's giving me a bit of color. Lovely. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. We're coming back. We're coming back alive. We're coming back alive. And then I can set my brows down because they're getting a little fluffy. Just got the NYX brow glue, which I hated at first and now I can't live without it. Let's do the rest of my eyes because I really want to get onto this blush. So with this, I'll do a brown eyeliner. I've just got my Melt one that I use in my every day. And it is in the shade Columbia. I don't think they're sold anymore. I think this was like, I got it in a mystery box and I think they put it in there because they discontinued them and brought out new ones. Where is my mascara? I'm pretty sure I bought mascara. I did. Go me. I hate it. Oh, how did I do that? I bought her out from the depths of my mascara tub. I forgot about her and I felt really bad about it because you're beautiful. I just don't really promote it because like, I feel like a lot of mascaras are the same. So you don't need to spend $60. Although Hourglass is pretty spectacular. They really know how to do a mascara. But this one I'm telling you is a contender. It's bloody beautiful. Really beautiful. If you don't mind spending a pretty penny on mascara, I do definitely recommend this Bobbi Brown one. It is quite small though. I would like it for travel. I would actually repurchase this for travel because it's like half the size, but it's not quite a mini. Because I don't actually think we need mascaras to be so big, considering they tell you to change it every three. <gasps> every three months. That's gonna make me cry. Uh, and I'll come back to it so I don't smudge everything. Let's do the blushes. I didn't show you the eyeshadow palette. Let me show you the eyeshadow palette before I show you the blushes. This was a impulse purchase, this one. I didn't need this palette, but I needed these blushes, okay? Anyway, <laughs> how cute's all the packaging? So this is P. Louise. It's all started with a date night. This is a date night palette. It's so cute. It's just my color story. I've not seen anyone talk about or use this one, but I just, it really, as soon as I saw it, I fell in love with it. I have been gifted a Natasha, Natasha, P. Louise palette before, and the, I knew the formula was really nice. Look at this color story. Is that not me? Is that not me? Is that not me? Love it. And this is something I would 100% wear on a date night. She's smultry, smultry. She's so, I wanted to say smoky and sultry at the same time, smultry. She's sultry, she's smoky. I'm in love. I cannot wait to use this. I just didn't want to use it today because I've got these beautiful alter ego palettes. But we've got many palettes to be playing with and I never buy palettes. So, well, I haven't been buying palettes, I should say. So I went from like having nothing to having a lot. All right, let's see if I can fix under here or am I gonna make myself panda eyed? Okay, blush, anyone blush? Okay, we're not gonna be using this one today. This is red, this is called Coral Morals. How cute is this packaging? Everything they do is so adorable. I don't even want to throw it out, but I also don't need to keep it. So these are their cheek of it, a flirty flush of color liquid blush. So they're designed to be soft and light. And I was like, mm, sign me up. I've got lots of pigmented, give me something soft. So this is Coral Morals. Like I said, I've already opened them. So this one is your brightest one, but it blends. When I put this on, it was so pretty. It blended out really nicely. It was definitely not this red. It almost went kind of pink and they dry down, which is why I'm hopeful that this will be good over powder because they don't stay dewy, which is my preference. Love it. And then it's gonna be hard to get off because it like stains. And then the other two are really light and soft. We have Ballet Slipper. I think I'll probably wear this one today because of the look. It's like a soft, oh my God, it's so pretty. So it's like an orange, but it's really soft. It's like a peachy baby peach. Oh, so pretty. I think that'll definitely be the one for today. And then lastly, I have the one that actually inspired this whole purchase. I've been dying to try Cutie Cake, which is the lightest one that they basically have. And it is a pink. 
So it's similar to uh, Bolet Sleeper in that it's like this pale pastel color, except this one is more pink. So pretty. This one was very light on the skin. It was just a very light flush. Both of them were. Um, but I think it's going to be really pretty to play with. So let's go in with Ballet Slipper. And I'm sure if you had a look on their website, because I will link these, that um, I wonder if they still have that deal. I'm pretty sure it didn't seem like it was a limited edition. I reckon they just want you to know, buy more stock. Um, brush. Yeah, see how you don't really see much because I've got bronzer on. So I'm just lightly tapping it. There's definitely like a blush there but it's not much i think this would look really nice if you're someone that doesn't wear bronzer and i think it would show up more because i've got bronzer on i think it's kind of disappearing in that bronzer whereas this one you do not need no need to worry about that because it shears out it doesn't stay heavily pigmented like that it does blend out like these look way more pigmented on my hand than they do on my face is what i'm trying to say but there's definitely a flush there. If you're someone that likes really light blush, I think this would be really nice. I think these would be really pretty on my lighter makeup days. They had so many colors with lots of different shades. I just wanted these really light ones to see how it would be. Because you know me, I always got a little bit cray cray on the blush. I'm going to set my face before we do lips. It's got the Revlon Color Stay Lock. I think I'm gonna do my MCO Beauty lip balm. This is in the shade Bella Vita. Yeah, I just want a light lip. I don't want anything too much. And I was gonna do a little bit of highlighter because that's dried down, which is nice. It's not matte, it's just dried down. This is the Astralis Dewy and Daring Highlighter in It Girl. I'm worried that just took a little bit of that color away. You know how sometimes highlighters make the blush kind of disappear? That's everything. That's everything. Yeah, I'm going to the shops. This is even a lot for the shops. <laughs> I love the eye look. I think the eye look is fantastic. I don't even think I need anything underneath. I really like that it's all just on the top half of my lid, of my eye. Um, everything is really nice. I think these blushes I need to work with a little bit more. Or well, you can even see it's got different packaging, the punchier one. Or maybe it's one of the new shades. Interesting. So I want to play with those more. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Alter Ego. And remember, I'll have those details down below if you are interested to check them out. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.